Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of three videos on four mallet grip. Today I'm going to show you the traditional cross grip. This is the original four mallet grip, and while there are better and more versatile grips available, this grip has remained popular because of its solid feel and how easy it is to learn. Its downsides are that it has a medium range, not much fine control, and it's a bit stiff. To start, grab a mallet like you would for a regular two mallet grip. This is going to be your inside mallet. Now grab a second mallet with your middle ring and pinky finger. Your index finger should fit in between the two mallet shafts. Your pinky and ring finger should grasp the cross in the two mallets, and your middle finger should act as support for the grip. The second mallet should cross over the other mallet in your hand naturally and veer to the outside, and the mallet heads should be the same distance from the hand. To change to a wider interval, slip your thumb to the inside of the mallet shaft and push out. This will look a little like a lobster claw. To change to a smaller interval, simply point your index finger. When changing the inside note, simply adjust the interval. When changing the outside note, move your arm to that note and then change the inside interval accordingly. Go to our website at musiciansnotepad.com slash four mallets to find this handout to print and put in your studio, classroom, or give to your students. Over the next month, we'll be releasing handouts and videos for Musser Stevens and Burton Grip as well. In fact, the third week of every month, we put out a free publication designed to help you help your percussion students. So make sure to check it out, peruse what's there, come back often, as well as like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's hit it.